हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड नियर द सरफेस ऑफ ए चार्ज कंडक्टर बाय यूजिंग गासला लेट्स एगेन Let us consider a charge Q. Q amount of charge is given to a conductor, which is of an arbitrary shape. That is the conductor here. Q amount of charge is given to that of conductor Q amount of charge is given let the surface charge density of the conductor is sigma surface charge density of conductor that is charge per surface area that is sigma the whole charge on the conductor will reside on its surface as shown in that of figure there is no electric field inside the conductor the electric field on the surface of the conductor is always normal to that of surface in case of conductor the electric charges are on the surface inside that conductor there will be no such electric field electric field inside that conductor will be zero inside the conductor inside the conductor electric field zero no electric field inside that of conductor electric field e is equal to zero e is equal to zero and the charges are arranged on the surface of that of conductor and the electric field on the surface of that of conductor is always normal to that of surface the electric field let we have to calculate the electric field near the surface of a charged conductor let we take the point p p is a point which is very close to the surface of that conductor now we have to draw the gaussian surface as a cylinder of area of cross section a which is passing through that point p so here we draw the cylindrical gaussian surface having the area of cross section a and that passing through that of point p here is the point p that is the surface s1 that end the surface s1 that end with the surface s2 and this curved region are treated as surface s3 here a the area of that gaussian surface area cross section area cross section area of the gaussian cylinder gaussian surface as a cylinder 
cylindrical Gaussian surface that area will be capital A. That Gaussian surface as a cylinder area of cross section A is passing through that point P having the sides are perpendicular to the surface of that conductor. So, here electric field direction of electric field is also parallel with the direction of the surface D s vector at surface S 3 the direction of surface is this is d s direction of the surface here this is d s 1 this is d s 3. E vector is perpendicular to d s 3 vector here. Let the net charge within that Gaussian surface let the net charge within the Gaussian surface is equal to Q net total charge. According to the surface charge density, therefore, surface charge density is equal to total charge per surface area A. So, Q net is equal to surface charge density that is sigma sigma is equal to q naught q net by a. So, q net is equal to sigma into a. Now, according to Gauss law, you have to calculate the total flux through that of Gaussian surface. According to Gauss law, Gauss law the total flux through the Gaussian surface is given by phi is equal to the closed curve closed surface integration over S E dot D S is equal to Q net divided by epsilon naught total charge enclosure within that surface that is Q naught. Here the closed surfaces means the total Gaussian surface includes the surface S 1, S 2 and S 3. Now, that closed surface can be written as 3 such surfaces, the combination of 3 surfaces, the surfaces are S 1 E dot D S plus S 2 E dot D S S 3 E dot d s that is q net divided by epsilon naught. Look that figure at surface s 1 e vector is parallel to d s 1 vector or that surface vector here not that d s 1 that is the surface d s here the surface d s d s with a small surface region as we consider e vector is parallel to d s vector at surface s 1. 
right surface s2 e vector is anti parallel to that of s vector but in that of case there will be no such electric field since this is the conductor and inside that conductor the electric field intensity will be zero at that region there will be no such flux and again at surface s3 e vector is perpendicular to ds vector therefore e dot ds e ds cos 90 cos 90 will be zero so here there will be no such contribution of electric flux of that region the only electric flux due to that surface s1 so here we write at surface s1 e vector is parallel with ds vector therefore e dot ds is equal to e ds and at surface s2 e is equal to 0 since there will be no electric field inside the conductor inside the conductor therefore here e dot ds is equal to 0 and at surface s3 e vector is perpendicular to ds vector therefore e dot ds that is e ds cos 90 is equal to 0 we have to apply these conditions here so the integration that integral exist integration surface s2 0 surface s3 0 only integration due to that surface s1 e dot ds is equal to q net divided by epsilon naught or at surface s1 e ds is equal to q net divided by epsilon naught at surface s1 e dot ds is equal to e ds e to that of outside s1 ds is equal to q net divided by epsilon naught or e the total surface area of the surface s1 that is the area of the cross section a q net divided by epsilon naught or e is equal to q net divided by a into epsilon naught now q net in terms of surface area density that is sigma into a you have to put it that value so electric field intensity e is equal to sigma into a divided by a into epsilon naught a, a cancel out so final result we have the electric field intensity near the surface of a charge conductor will be sigma divided by epsilon naught that is the required expression so with the help of this visual lecture we understand what should be the electric field near the surface of a charge conductor we can derive that equation by using gauss law or gauss theorem here is the gaussian surface and we apply gauss law what happened in all these surfaces then finally we get that expression of electric field near the surface of a charge conductor e is equal to sigma by epsilon naught so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you